Hey hockey fans, it's Mike or Knucklehead with Knucklehead Hockey and welcome to this video. And you, as you can probably see, I have weird hair. Well, it's curly hair, but I mean, it's not natural, whatever. Why are we talking about my hair? I'm going to be talking about the uh, the trades that have happened uh, today uh, that happened. Uh, the date is uh, July 17th, uh, 2021. Uh, it happened uh, before the roster freeze, uh, before um, the expansion draft, which happens on Wednesday. So there's some trades that happened. Some were like really minor and then some were, one of them was really big. And I've got some uh, some news here as well. So. By the time you see this video, um, it'll probably be uploaded on Sunday, which is tomorrow. I'm filming on Saturday night. Just want to get this filming done. Um, my work schedule is weird, so af after I film this, I have to go to bed. I have to go to bed because I have to get up early in the morning and go to work. Work life is fun. But anyway, I'm going to uh, read off the trades that happened today and then uh, talk about a couple of um, other things as well. So here we go. The first trade that happened today happened between uh, San Jose, which is the team I'm, the jersey I'm wearing, and the Arizona Coyotes, and it involved uh, goaltender Aiden Hill going to San Jose. Uh, he goes to San Jose along with the seventh round pick from 2022, I believe, and going to Arizona is prospect Yosef. I do not know how to say this guy's name, but I'll have all the, the names down below here. So you'll see them right here. And as well as a 2022 second round pick. So um, so San Jose loses a goaltending prospect, but they gain um, a promising future goaltender in Aiden Hill. He's, uh, he's a BC boy. He's an island boy, just like myself. Um, he's from Comox. Uh, I think he's got a bright future. I think he's gonna do very well in San Jose. So it's actually funny because I have the Arizona Coyotes Kachina jersey, which is the team he was used to play for. Now I also have a jersey that he now currently plays for. So that's pretty funny. Uh, Arizona was just going to leave him exposed in the expansion draft because they got Darcy Kemper. Uh, I believe they're, I don't know what they're going to do with Auntie Ranta. He might go as a free agent, but they're, they were just going to leave Aiden Hill there, and uh, which is unfortunate. But he goes to San Jose. So I think he'll he'll help the Sharks maybe as a, either a backup goaltender or quite possibly as um, as a future starter. So you you never know. Next trade to happen happened between the Vancouver Canucks and the Dallas Stars. It involved uh, centerman Jason Dickinson. He's going to Vancouver in exchange for a 2021 second oh no third round pick third round pick. And as a Canucks fan, I really do, I personally really like this trade. Uh, Vancouver is just, they just haven't had um, any depth at that third line center position uh, toward the end of last year. Uh, Brandon Sutter did the best he could, but he's becoming a UFA. Um, Jay Beagle is just gonna be a fourth line center. So getting a guy like Jason Dickinson, he's 26 years old, he's 6'2", he's over 200 pounds. It's going to provide some, um, you know, some size and some and some heft, heft, as to what uh, Jim Benning uh, stated that they wanted. But Jason Dickinson is now officially Vancouver Canuck. He is an RFA, so hopefully they could get him signed to a relatively decent contract, one that's not too too crazy. Next one happens between the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Pittsburgh Penguins. It involves a former Canuck first round pick Jared McCann Jared McCann is off to Toronto and going to Pittsburgh is Philip Hallett Philip Hounder or Hollander and the seventh round pick from 2023 so I'm not really sure how Philip Hallander is going to do in Pittsburgh I, I know that he was originally drafted by Pittsburgh and then he was traded to Toronto in the um in the Kasperi Kapanen trade. So now he's going back to Pittsburgh, but coming to Toronto is Jared McCann, more than likely gonna be in the third line center position for the team. 
Uh, I like Jerry McCann. He's uh, he's quick. He's fast. Uh, he can score. He can play as a playmaker. He's a grinder as well. He can kill penalties. He's good in the faceoff draw. So that's going to give Toronto a little bit of shot, uh, a shot in the arm. But it'll be interesting to see. Um, I know there was rumors that McCann about possibly coming back to Vancouver, but ultimately it didn't happen. So Jared McCann is going to the Toronto Maple Leafs. This one's a little bit minor. It happened between um, Vegas and the New York Rangers. Going to the Rangers is a prospect by the name of D. Simone. And the 2022 fourth round pick coming from, coming from Vegas and going and going to the Rangers. But going from the Rangers and going to Vegas is Brett Howden, a former Lightning prospect. So he'll go and provide some center depth uh, for Vegas, um, either on the fourth line or maybe even on the third line. I mean, he's still relatively young, so he's still, um, he's still got a, pretty much a bright future ahead of him. And the New York Rangers made another trade, this time with the Tampa Bay Lightning. Uh, the Rangers send Tampa Bay a 7th round pick from 2022 and coming back to the Rangers is Barkley Goodrow. Bit of a depth depth move there. Um, obviously Barkley Goodrow uh, part of the two Stanley Cups in a row for the Tampa Bay Lightning. So he's leaving Tampa Bay and he's going to the Rangers. Because it obviously seems that nobody really wants to help out Tampa Bay right now because of their cap problems. but. There's still lots of time to go and there's an expansion draft coming, so you never know. This trade is a little bit a little bit weird. I've never ever ever seen a trade happen like this before in my life. Um, it's between Arizona and the New York Islanders. The Islanders ship over Andrew Ladd. Uh, I guess his his contract is bad, bad contract. Uh, they send over a 2021 second round pick and a conditional 2022 uh, second and a conditional 2023 third round pick. Uh, I don't know the full details on, um, I don't know the full details on uh, the condition. I think one of them is if he plays like one game for the Coyotes and that pick goes to them. But Andrew Ladd is not the same player as he was many, many years ago, well, a few years ago. I liked Andrew Ladd uh, when he played for Chicago. I liked him when he played for Winnipeg. Um, it's kind of too bad. It's kind of like what happened to Louis Erickson, but it's definitely a huge drop off. But this is where it gets really interesting. What did the Islanders get in return? Absolutely nothing. They got nothing. And uh, yeah, this is one of the weirdest trades I've ever seen. I personally, I did not think you could get away with that. I thought that was something you like see in an NHL game or something. But yeah, um, Andrew Ladd's basically his contract and a 2021 20, second guaranteed second round pick and um, two conditional picks for nothing. So maybe there might be something added on to there later on, but for now it's, it's just nothing, which it's still a very, very weird trade. So, um, yeah, I thought that was definitely surprising. Okay, this is the big one, and I saved this one for last. It's a three-team trade. It happened between the Philadelphia Flyers, the Vegas Golden Knights, and the Nashville Predators. The first trade happened between Philadelphia and Nashville. It was basically Ryan Ellis leaving the Nashville Predators, going to Philly for Nolan Patrick. And also you include uh, Philip Myers in there as well from Philadelphia. So Nolan Patrick and Philip Myers to Nashville for Ryan Ellis, which is a really big trade. He's going to be, I think he's going to be a good fit in Philadelphia. I really like Ryan Ellis. He's one of my favorite defensemen. Great puck moving defenseman. He's got a great shot. Had a bit of a down year, but I think uh, he could really help uh, the Flyers uh, this upcoming season. But then another trade happened, and this was between Vegas and Nashville. Nashville immediately shipped over um, Nolan Patrick to Vegas for Cody Glass. And uh, those are two very young centermen in, uh, in, in need of, I think, in need of a change of scenery. It's too bad about Nolan Patrick. He does have a bit of, uh, he does have a few health problems. 
But uh, I think uh, going to Vegas, I think it'll be a change, you know, change of scenery. He could very well uh, revitalize his career, and he could very well come back. Uh, I, I have a lot of faith in Nolan Patrick. I think he'll do very well in Vegas. And the same for Cody Glass, you know, former Portland Winterhawk. I think he's he's going to be a good player. He's got a lot of good upside. I think he's going to do very well in Nashville. But yeah, it, it's going to be so weird seeing uh, Ryan Ellis in a another jersey besides Nashville because he's been there for so long so yeah Ryan Ellis to the Flyers uh, Nolan Patrick to Vegas and to Nashville is uh, Cody Glass and Philip Myers so yeah that's a pretty interesting trade the three team trades don't happen very often but that was that was definitely uh, a strange one now trades are over we're now moving on to some news I heard uh, it revolves around two players, um, one from St. Louis and one from Montreal. Uh, basically, it sounds like Vladimir Tarasenko is going to be left exposed uh, from the St. Louis Blues, and that is a bit surprising. Vladimir Tarasenko is still one of the best players in the NHL. He's an unbelievable goal scorer. I've liked Tarasenko for a very, very long time. I remember when he scored his uh, first two goals in the NHL, uh, I knew he was going to have a great career. But it sounds like he may be left exposed. And um, if I'm the Seattle Kraken, and I know his his contract is not that bad, even though he's coming off two shoulder surgeries. But if a player like Tarasenko is left available, you take him. He's only got two, I think he's only got this upcoming season and one more after that until he's a UFA but Tarasenko is a good player and uh, yeah I think Seattle if if he's still available if Seattle's crazy to not take him um, it, it is too bad you know because Tarasenko helped St. Louis win the Stanley Cup but uh, I guess there's just a bit of a falling out there and that's that's really really too bad but uh, yeah it sounds like Tarasenko could very well become a, a member of the Kraken. And if that happens, it's going to be uh, it's going to be pretty interesting for sure. And uh, the other one I want to talk about is Carey Price, longtime goalie of the Montreal Canadiens, uh, waived his clause so he could be left exposed to protect Jake Allen, which I thought was kind of strange because I personally think that Carey Price is a better goaltender than Jake Allen. But uh, I know there was some rumor going around that uh, Seattle already knows what goaltender they're going to take. They're going to take Chris Drieger from Florida and probably sign him. But now that Carey Price is going to be left exposed, that is going to be... Uh, this could be um, another Marc-Andre Fleury situation. Which I, I mean, you never know. Could very well, it could not happen. But Carey Price could very well, have, he could very well become the next member of the Seattle Kraken. And oh boy, that'll be pretty interesting to see for sure. But then again, we don't know until the expansion draft, which happens on Wednesday on the 21st. And I'm uh, I'm super excited to see who uh, who they take. I hope I just hope they don't take any good players from Vancouver. But uh, yeah, it's just. It is for every fan of every team, you know, they're just, except Vegas, because obviously they're an exempt. But, um, yeah, that's just how it is. But anyway, guys, uh, thanks for sticking around in this video and uh, having to put up with me and my silly hair. But uh, if you like the content of this video, please feel free to, to like and subscribe and also share uh, to anyone who might like this video as well. And... Uh, yeah, please subscribe if you want to see more content in the future. And also push the notification uh, button uh, to get notified when I post future videos. So anyway, guys, uh, thanks for tuning in. And uh, I'll see you again very, very soon. This is Mike with Knucklehead Hockey, signing off.